Welcome to ECD Quarterly, where we share news and inspiration from the East Central Africa Division. Thank you for joining us. In the news this quarter, Tanzania's president applauds the work of the Adventist Church and Adventists in Kenya pray for peaceful elections. These stories and more coming up. And now for our top stories, John Pombe Magufuli, the President of the Republic of Tanzania, recently attended a special Sabbath worship service celebrating the construction of the new Magomeni Adventist Church, the first established in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Magufuli was impressed by the message given by Mark Malekana, President of the Southern Tanzania Union Mission. Addressing Malekana, Magufuli said, I thank you for the excellent sermon that you have preached today. Church denominations, including Seventh-day Adventists, make a significant contribution to our nation, and I assure you that the government will continue to cooperate with you. Magufuli personally contributed $2,230 and 400 bags of cement to erect the building. He also conducted an impromptu fundraising campaign for the building project and raised nearly $11,290. The Adventist University of Central Africa, AUCA, celebrated its 23rd graduation from September 8th to 10th, 2017. The event was unique because, for the first time, the university awarded a Master of Business Administration and a Master of Education. Among the 657 graduates, 386 were female. The guest of honor was Emmanuel Muvunyi, the executive director of Higher Education Council in Rwanda. In his remarks, he thanked Aoka for teaching the Bible on top of other academic subjects. He challenged the university to uphold high academic standards by doing technical research, adding more programs, and training more PhD lecturers. In the baccalaureate, the East Central Africa Division President and Aoka Chancellor, Dr. Blasius Riguri, challenged the graduates to go out and serve the community. He also congratulated the faculty for making Aoka a competitive university by ensuring academic quality. In another graduation story, the Adventist University of Goma recently celebrated its second graduation ceremony in July since the university was handed over to the Northeast Congo Union Mission. The current Chancellor, Dr. Mwanga Chuchuru Datinya, and Vice Chancellor, Dr. Mwendambio Paluku, shared that the university is making positive progress in improving the infrastructure of the main campus in the city of Goma. The university has inherited some previous challenges before being handed over to the union, such as many debts, inadequate school buildings, a lack of permanent professors, and a low student enrollment. The current leadership of the union working through the University Council managed to pay the debts. It is also implementing a plan consisting of allocating 3% of the tithe from the two fields to the development of the university. Moreover, the union has voted to train three teachers at doctorate level beginning this year urgently. The graduates shared that they were extremely grateful for the excellent Adventist education they had received and now felt ready and equipped to serve their church and their respective communities. The Sabbath of August 5, 2017 was a historic day as Seventh-day Adventists in Kenya gathered to pray for peaceful elections. Thousands of Adventists from all walks of life thronged the Nakuru grounds to listen to messages of peace and music from various choirs from across the country. East Kenya Union Conference President Dr. Samuel Makori was a speaker for the day. Pastor Makori reminded Seventh-day Adventists that the Adventist Church takes a neutral position and hence does not take sides as far as matters of politics are concerned. Presidents from various conferences offered prayers between sessions and Pastor Kenneth Maina, President of West Kenya Union Conference, offered the closing prayer of consecration. 
Sabbath afternoon, the invited choirs blessed their attendees with joyous songs and beautiful musical inspiration. Coming up, the East Congo Union Mission hosted total member involvement extravaganza. But up next, find out more about the ECD Medical School. I'm Omotoni Asekeza Brenda. I want to be a doctor because there are so many people suffering in this world and I am very excited for this new school. Since it is right near us, it will be quite easier for us, for us who have dreams of being doctors and everything like that. I'm actually excited because it's like it's going to help a lot of people who are actually willing to become the future doctors in Rwanda. And even as like it's a chance for many of the people who are here as like cause for them, they think that it's only like going abroad, so you can get the better services or the better education. But if, if at all, like it's here in Rwanda also, then it can be helpful to everyone as like who is willing to become a future doctor. Having a medical school here in Rwanda, it's a great opportunity. Like, Adventist means Christianity. So having doctors which are Christians, which are near God, and getting their medical care, it means that it will be more a blessing and that we'll be cured first. Welcome back. Let's take a look at more of our top stories. The Youth and Chaplaincy Department hosted a special public campus ministries convention at the end of October to energize and equip students and youth leaders to share their faith on public campuses. The special weekend event was a worldwide initiative organized by the General Conference leadership that was broadcast simultaneously in all 13 regions of the World Church. The ECD event was held in Kampala, Uganda, and was attended by more than 1,000 students. Participants reported that they came away ready to share the hope across public campuses. More than 10,000 Adventists in East Congo attended an extravaganza celebration of evangelism sponsored by the East Congo Union Mission last month in the city of Lubumbashi, DRC. On the grounds of Lupopo Stadium in Lubumbashi, August 23rd to 26th, 2017, the East Congo Union Mission held this unique event which will remain forever etched in the history of East Congo Union Mission and East Central Africa Division. ECD President Dr. Blasius Ruguri, along with ECD Treasurer Pastor Jerome Habimana and ECD Ministerial Director Pastor Musa Mitekaro and Winifrida Mitekaro were the keynote speakers for the union-wide extravaganza in the city of Lubumbashi. East Congo Union Mission's theme for this incredible event was a sense of duty and transparency. Despite the poor roads and infrastructure in this country, church members came from all four corners of the union for this grand celebration. People flocked from different fields and missions and even traveled distances as far as a thousand kilometers to participate. The ECOM extravaganza culminated with the ordination of nine pastors and a grand baptism of 117 precious souls. The event heightened the visibility of the church in the community as Adventists paraded on the streets for a great mission-focused parade. In Burundi, an Adventist radio program aired on the national radio station has gone viral through WhatsApp, in particular among the people who understand the Kirundi language. The program hosted by the Adventist Church in Burundi through its communication department airs once a week on Sabbath and has gained an international appeal from radio listeners around the world. It all began about a year ago when due to consistent requests from listeners, the presenter decided to make the audio of past radio programs available for free download on WhatsApp. The new initiative made it possible for the audience members to tune in even if a radio program had already been aired. As a result, more and more listeners from around the globe have started downloading the radio show from their phones and mobile devices. A member from the far south of Burundi, where it said is beneath the toes, can invite someone to a church service from Bujumbura. Someone from Dubai can fellowship on Sabbath with someone in South Africa. Non-Adventists can become Adventists through WhatsApp. Adventist church members in Rwanda were applauded by a top government official this week for impacting their community through a monthly community service day 
held on the last Sunday of every month. Harelimana Siriak, the Minister of State in charge of socio-economic development in the Ministry of Local Government, commended the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Rwanda for contributing significantly in the development of the country. He highlighted this in Kichichiro district on Sunday, October 29, 2017, where thousands of Adventists in the city of Kigali were gathered for community work, Umuganda, which other church denominations do on the last Saturday of each month. I am delighted to be with you Adventists as we do the community work of this month. When you take this precious time to do the community work, it is another pillar you are adding to the existing ones that build our country. Dr. Hezron Bilingero, the president of Rwanda Union Mission, thanked the government of Rwanda for having allowed the Adventists to do the community work on Sundays. He reminded the members of Adventist Church in Rwanda to not take this opportunity for granted. Teachers and educators from across the Ethiopian Union Mission recently gathered together to revive and reform the Adventist education schooling system in their region. The Ethiopian Union Mission Teachers Convention was conducted at Akaki Adventist School in Addis Ababa. The convention was implemented as part of the Ethiopian Union Mission's strategic plan and was scheduled a year in advance. The East Central Africa Division, along with the General Conference's Education Department, provided resources and support for the Teachers' Convention. The new content offered by keynote presenters to revive and reform Adventist teachers is designed to address sharing everlasting gospel to the community and especially to the new millennial generation. The goal of the convention was to empower teachers to be more mission-focused in their approach. A group of women from the Dorcas or Community Services Department at the Himbi Seventh-day Adventist Church in the city of Goma DRC showed God's love in action by attending to six soldiers in the region. Most of these soldiers were wounded on the battlefield and admitted at the Katindo Military Hospital. With compassion, the Adventist women distributed spiritual books and took time to share the Word of God with the patients. More than 70 of the patients who were attended to expressed their satisfaction and joy on the Sauti Yetumaini Adventist FM station in Goma. Adventist leaders in the DRC shared that they are committed to empowering church members to get involved in activities of mission according to their God-given talents. Every quarter we sit down with a guest for a new feature we call Dialogue. For this quarter, we are talking about mission and total member involvement with Pastor Elaine Corali, the Executive Secretary of the East Central Africa Division. Welcome, Pastor Corali, to the program. Thank you. How long have you worked for the church and in what capacities have you worked for? I have worked as a district pastor for many years. Then I worked as a communication director for the conference where I worked. I also worked as an education director at the union level, then the secretary of the union before coming here at the division, uh, working as an associate for six years, and then uh, for two years I've been the secretary of the division. Mm -hmm. I see. You currently serve as the executive secretary of the East Central Africa Division. What exactly does secretariat do? Uh, secretariat deals mostly with administration, everything that has to do with uh, the daily running of the organization mm -hmm. and uh, making sure that things run well. And if I could use an analogy, I would say that if you take a car, for example, the driver is the president, mm -hmm. uh, the fuel uh, attendant at the gas station is the treasurer, making sure that there is enough gas in the car for the car to, to run. Mm -hmm. uh, and the secretary is, uh, is the mechanic making sure that uh, the engine uh, runs properly. So as administration, we are like the engine of, of the organization. Our theme for this quinquennium is mission priority. It's harvest time. Why is this important to you and how does it relate to total member involvement? I think it is important because we live in the last days. Yes. And uh, as a church, we need to get involved in uh, in God's business as mm -hmm. never before. Mm -hmm. Mission is our priority as a church and uh, every member should be involved. Not only pastors, not only leaders, but each and every one of us should be involved. Amen. What encouragement would you like to leave our viewers with today? 
just be involved, uh, love your neighbors, mm -hmm. be a sermon in action. Don't wait for uh, campaigns to start uh, to, to be involved in the community, but let evangelism be a daily affair, uh, something that you do every day. Thank you very much for joining us this day, Pastor Corali. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us for this edition of ECD Quarterly. Join us next time where we'll share more news and inspiration from the East Central Africa Division of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Until then, may God richly bless you. Take care.